welcome to Ephodium Talk Show. We have today with us co-founders of Value Leaf Group, Satish Saraf and Shikan Barredi. They call it a parallel agency. Welcome to the show, Satish and Shikan. Thank you. Uh, so I would like to ask both of you uh, about your entrepreneur journey that took off in 2006 and crossed several milestones, you know, in less than two decades. And also I would like to know why you call it as a parallel agency. So, in 2006, when we started, right, so, though it may look like we have crossed multiple yeah, hurdles, right, but it, it never yeah, looked like a yeah, hurdle to us. Very honestly, when I started back in 2006, right, practically, today what I feel is when I look at business plans before people get started, I I find it very, very unpractical because we started with a thought, right? And then slowly one thing led to other. There are multiple things with it. So I don't think you can plan so much. I think as Steve Jobs mentioned, it is always you can connect the dot backwards. Yeah. See, uh... I'll tell you because there are there are certain uh, entrepreneur is not uh, it is not any more new thing for India because India is building more and more entrepreneurs now. So becoming entrepreneur is not a big deal. I always suggest for because there is a great roadmap which India built that uh, whoever is having a drive can become an entrepreneur. It is more about how you deal and what kind of contribution you are doing. So in our domains, whatever we built is something that we decided to add value as much as we can in terms of growth of the product, growth of the people, growth of the nation. So I find that entrepreneur should add value 360 degrees and not just in one area. So becoming an entrepreneur is not a big deal today. That's what I feel. And when it comes to any ideas, any thought to build this, we kind of coining the names. We want to build India uh, into a performance-led agency in India. And we want to educate all the brands on performance driven because marketing is one of the biggest uh, aspect of any brand or any company. And it is more sensitive to the, but uh, in terms of the, uh, for the company, for the founders, for the leaders. Now, we, this, we thought of that how we can build a performance agency, performance marketing, and something like how US is following today. So, but how we coin this? Because already there is established digital space, digital agencies already exist in India. So, we decided who we are. We need to create an identity. Our identity can help the way we build, our identity can help. A performance, a performance aspect in every brand. That's why we thought we given a parallel agency as a. So it's sometimes you kill your own ideas. So in six years back, that was very important to, like you know, like how our Narendra Modi Prime Minister mentioned that Swachh Bharat. So when it, but you don't listen to the Swachh Bharat a lot. But initial days we were. Again and again, we listen and there was a tax, component, tax, and those days. Right? So, parallel agency also played that kind of role from the beginning of uh, building a performance aspect. Now, it may not be that vision because not all the brands, agencies, our kind of companies understood that part. Now, the word parallel agency is, is kind of not required, not understood. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so, Satish and Shikan, uh, we would also like to know what were your initial challenges and how did you tackle them? Initial challenges started with, I think, a meeting. How do we go through a day to day expenses, also, maybe, right? So, I think when we started, we didn't even have a we didn't even have money to buy a printer also right so if, if a bill had to be issued 
I had to literally take my bike to a cyber cafe and copy the bill on a in a word document and then go ahead and print it. So, but there were multiple yeah, yeah, uh, other channels in terms of yeah, business. If I talk about right, because we were first time entrepreneurs, it's not that first time entrepreneurs in the sense have not worked in the past in large setups, right? So, learning things, there is a, a lot of mistakes which were being done, a lot of so few of the mistakes if I talk about large ones. Challenges. See, I I have a uh, uh, take on that. There is no challenge. With the only thing is what an entrepreneur. If you ask me how entrepreneurs initial days are, instead of building the bank balance, you need to build the risk appetite. What is so risk appetite is. How how much you build? It's if you keep on building the risk appetite is equal, you are building an asset. So I feel that. So if you don't have a risk appetite, that is one of the biggest challenge one will have. So dire dire what is capital build karega. So every entrepreneur will lead into a successful entrepreneur journey. So this is what uh, I feel. So there was always no one very, very strong belief, Kanchan. So that belief was till such time any company in the world if they have grown they have added value to their customers so this has been a very very strong mindset which has been there with us every single thing which we do every single thing which we talk in our organization right so I think with this mindset, no, it was never been so. I was a little, I was stumbling upon the rare challenges. What were the challenges? Right. So I didn't have a, I, I couldn't come up with a, a right answer for you. Right? So I don't think it is challenge, challenge as such, right? I think, oh, I don't know how practical or how, I mean, see, theoretical it looks like, but yeah, I think it is a journey and and I think it is more fun, right? They say no ki yari ajamita vachan ke pas paise ki agar hi wo paise ke liye kar raha hota to yar paise ki koi kamin nahi still is dancing in front of you, right? So I think it's I think it's the way of life for us. I think we enjoy what we do, and value creation is one thing which we know right from day zero. That we are, if we are not adding value to our customers, we will be out of business anytime. Yeah, you rightly mentioned, I think challenges are part of everyone's life journey. And being an entrepreneur, you have also, you know, added value to the life of your customers. And I think one such product is Body Loan, right? That is, you know, currently uh, is one of your, you know, most popular product. So I would like to know from you, how is Body Loan helping India becoming a financially inclusive country and we also learned that you are planning to launch it in outside India as well. So please share your details. So buddy loan is so today if you see there are multiple yeah, lenders available right Do you when you log into your Facebook or when you go anywhere you see multiple people trying to offer you yeah, multiple loans quick loans. So what Buddy Loan is trying to do is today, one thing what we realized, I think we were on a trip to in, in, the, in, in the US, right? And we saw multiple payday loan kind of ads, right? And then when I think we were flying back and we were talking about it, one thing what we realized is that India may apne ghar pe jo bai hai, paisa usko bhi milta hai, right? Loan sabko milta and loan is I think one of the I think the second oldest profession in the uh, second oldest uh, business or occupation in the world, right? So, paisa sabko mil raha hai. 
So there is a lender for everyone. But today, if you see, most of the people are not able to take a loan from a regulated entity. Right? And it's not that she is not paying it back. Maybe people are not integrated. That was the whole thought. So today, so what we did is we not only went to your traditional banks. So today, what we do is when a user comes to us, we try to look for a lender for that kind of user. This may be a lender who operates only in a particular city. In a small EA city. So today we have variety of EA lenders like this with us. So buddy loan, what we are able to achieve today is we have one of the highest dispersal rates. When I say dispersal rates from people who have applied for loan to people who get a EA loan. Yeah. So um, what I feel is that our job as a founders, not only uh, we as any any founder in any any domain, it is to simplify a category, like how you can get a food from a restaurant to whom, some a founder who simplified it. So how you can get a go from here. Yeah, content you are there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, internet connection. So, simplify is our job. Buddy loan is how simplify a lending, a borrowing. How to simplify this process. So, we decided that the idea is, if you ask as a founder, what do you want? We want to, can buddy loan be a gateway for the borrowers? Or gateway for a certain borrowers? Who is not part of the mainstream lending or mainstream borrowing. That is the whole idea. Again, the idea when we started, this was not the idea. When we started, there is a potential where we observe that the lending and borrowing, there is still a certain segment, there is a gap where I can't become civil. But as we, since three years, four years, we learned with the journey that we can become at least a major majority of the segment of the people in India. We can be a borrower, gateway for the borrowers. But showing multiple options for them and choose the best and take the best. This is the whole idea. So what we see is that Today, every third house or every second house are, are dependent on some kind of loans. And they take the hand loan, they go to the bank and they take the loan or they take the loans from the neighbors. As well. So if you look at most of the people, the most difficult thing is, can I get a loan today? If you look at five years back, 10 years back, I need 10,000 rupees to X, Y, Z purpose, whatever the personal needs. Now, they only know that the three people or four people who we can ask. Now, know that institute, Indian government, RBI, FinTech, extremely hard work in last so many years, built an ecosystem in such a way that whoever is eligible, they can get it. So, we are part of the journey, Badilu, and we are contributing our piece of, uh, you know, our contribution, piece of contribution, which we're trying to add to this. And uh, I should say that in last three, four years, my borrowers and my partners, and I think both of them are giving us extremely good marks because it's a two-way journey what we are taking. That's what happened. So it's an interesting journey. And I still see that we started body loan like yesterday because there's so much to do. How I can knock each and every door in the India, whoever is required. That's yeah. it. I think we have about 30 million plus users at this moment. And, and looking at the success in India, what we realized is 
why not replicate the same thing? Right? Because in US still the lenders are talking about cost for every lead is what they pay. And we still see there is a struggle. And I feel in terms of fintech, since India is already way ahead. Right? Today we are we have the largest fintech ecosystem in the world. So we wanted to replicate the same success. This is where our next foot, we are trying to put it in the US. We have already done a small pilot and the results are encouraging. But trying to be part of the very responsible ecosystem. We are, we want to be part of the responsible ecosystem. We want to make sure that user, we want the user to knock over door, but because they get the meaningful regulated solutions. Yes. So, which markets you are looking at outside outside India? For buddy loan? Yeah. See, right now India is vast, so we are moving, uh, going deep in Indian market, and uh, kind of creating our solutions are meaningful to every borrower and every lender. So, India is vast. We have so much work to do in India right now. Also, to have a knowledge of global on the lending space and bring the best practices to India uh, in the digital space, not the regulated space. In the digital space, how better we can do, how better we can make a borrower be happy in terms of uh, digitally uh, their equipped and good. So we, are, we, we kind of started a practice to do this in the US market. It is just a beginning there, but otherwise the focus, the depth, let be a body loan, every household name for the lending purpose. That's the so in, in a nutshell, if I tell you, there is a majority janta today in India, which is regular banking channels. So our focus is debt segment. But if you and me want a loan, maybe once we log into our savings account, button press karenge, to ye paisa but people who do not have the access to credit from a regular banking ye channel, that is what our core ye theme is. Sadish, you also offer Actic and Martic uh, products. So I would like to understand how do you ensure that your clients receive tangible returns on their marketing investments? So as I told you, the key mantra for us in anything which we do is value addition. There is no business in the world which has become big without adding value to their customers. So what we do is, say today if I have to take certain examples, right? Now, performance marketing we spoke in, in initially. Typically, how marketing was done all this while in India was, there used to be an agency on record for you who used to charge you a certain fee on your overall spends. Either it can be in the form of a retainership or it can be in the form of a percentage of your total spends. What happens is then the risk and reward is one-sided. In that case, if you see, the entire risk is with the brand running, spending the money and reward is most of the time, reward is not a symmetrical. The person running this ad will always be rewarded with his fees, but the brand may not be rewarded. Right? What we did when we started in 2014-15, we revamped the entire EA value leaf and we called ourselves a parallel agency. There was this was the whole EA talk. Here you have an agency on record who is charging, this is the manner they are charging you. We will charge you on performance. So we also have our yeah, resources. We are also yeah, risking our yeah, money. If we are rewarded, both of us yeah, get yeah, rewarded. Otherwise, it is, it is zero risk for the yeah, brand. So today, anything what we do is we ensure there is performance. 
we try to ask the last question first. Right? So I remember me and Srikant when early days when we used to discuss, we used to see there are multiple clients who come and then they say, India my days always do that vendor ko kabhi bhi na, aap ye mat bolo ki baut achha kaam kiya te. Ye to next time aapki rate increase ho jate. Right? So always it is like, kuch bhi karte hai, when we go back and talk to them, ar yaar maza niya hai, ye nahi hua, wo nahi hua. So let us ask the last thing first. You tell me what if you spend 100 rupees with me. You tell me ki yaar, kya hone se aap bolo ki yaar, ye campaign baut achha ho. Right, so this is where we started. Right, ki ye kiya, okay, fine, it was fun. Yeah, you did a very good campaign for us. So now this has become the basic mantra for us. And then we start working backwards. So today our eggs are also in the yen basket. In anything we do, so that is why today we have all about 500 plus people. So today maybe an agency, a typical agency, maybe one person is running two campaigns, three campaigns. At our end, maybe there are five people managing one campaign. Each person is maybe managing a particular inventory for them. So we ensure in-depth analysis. Since we are also equally at risk and the better job we do, our reward is higher. Okay, so let's let's you know wrap it up uh, fast. Uh, so you were telling something about case studies. Yeah. Case studies, man. We see as a as a uh, performance marketing. This is something which we coined. We went aggressively into the facts. The biggest segment is BFSI, which we kind of uh, understood very well, and we added a lot of value there. The idea, Kena, it is not only the which category of the products. It is about which category of the inventory you are utilizing it and mapping it right. So we did a we did a reasonably good job, which is for many brands, many banks and institutes on the on the on this segment with the right inventories. Yeah. I can only speak so much on this. Uh, Shikant, how do you think that AI will impact the ad industry in the next one, two years? Uh see um if you ask me today, no one has an answer. My answer may not be, if my response may be just in the air. So, but I still tell you that at least the it will reduce the tax. One is the biggest thing. It will reduce the tax and increase the options. So these two things can uh, be part. For example, when I reduce the tax, that uh, it is very important that because there is a there is a slang, there is a saying, there is a terminology in the advertisement industry. But in that creative area or the video area, it may create a great impact. Its tax will come down. And when it comes to the performance of the inventories, that we don't have any clarity as of now. But partially that most of the ad industry today it works on the machine learning. So the ML is already place in place. Now, if A comes, A will replace the ML. We are not sure about it. So, but I'm sure it will only become a better. It will not become worse. That's yeah, I think no one has the clear answer to this question. I, I guess. I want to the disclaimer. No one. <laughs> Even what I'm telling maybe <laughs> true, maybe not. I, this I, is I living on assumptions. Yeah. So, Satish, I would also like to know what is the biggest challenge before marketers, you know, who are catering to tier two and tier three cities today? Tier two and tier three, most of the times, understanding is an issue. So, today, if you see most of the time, these are people who have people who are actually taking the marketing decisions. They may not have practically lived in those cities. So, the way people, so what happens is in general, say today, if I'm sitting in Bangalore, my interaction with, with majority of the time is with my friends in Bangalore or my office in Bangalore. Today, the life which we live, we feel this is the A world. Right? The world is very, very different. In fact, yesterday we were having some conversation and I was like, Aaj bhi India mein online purchases are sub 10 15%. 85% of the 
कंट्री स्टिल ये नॉट ऑनलाइन लाइक बट टूडे वी फील यर मैं तो सब कुछ ऑनलाइन कर रहा हूं आप भी सब कुछ ऑनलाइन कर रहे हैं राइट सो दिस अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज मिसिंग सो द मार्केट रिसर्च इज मिसिंग टूडे देर इज अ लॉर ऑफ रिसर्च डेटा अवेलेबल फॉर टायर वन एट सीरीज राइट सो यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द कंज्यूमर सी टूडे फॉर एनी काइंड ऑफ मार्केटिंग वट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इज दैट यू अंडरस्टैंड द टाइप ऑफ कस्टमर यू आर ट्राइंग टू रीच सी बट अभी क्या ना ये टीयर टू टीयर थ्री सिटीज देर आर दस पंद्रह साल में सब पुराना बात हो गया बिकॉज दे टीयर वन टीयर थ्री सिटीज ये ये पांच साल दस साल पहले हम डिस्कस करता था बहुत चीजों अभी वो चीज खत्म हो गया है बिकॉज एडुकेशन टू एन इंडिविजुअल इज इम्प्रूव यू कैन टेक द यू पी आई इट इज इट्स ग्रेट हर गांव में हर टाउन में हर सिटी में होता है चीज है ना आई आई बिलीव इन दैट यू नो कपल ऑफ थिंग्स विच यू आर टॉकिंग दैट एंटरप्रीनर इट इज अल्ड सी इट इज नॉट एनी मोर न्यू कोई भी एंटरप्रीनर बन सकते हैं बड़ी इश्यू नहीं टीयर टू टीयर थ्री ऑल्सो इट बिकम ए ओल्ड थिंग टीयर नो टीयर टू टीयर थ्री पर्टिकुलर सेगमेंट्स वो तो अभी आप आप गांव में बैठ के आपको बीमारी है तो आप ऑनलाइन जाके डॉक्टर के साथ कंसल्ट कर सकते हैं क्या प्रॉब्लम है आज का दिन इज स्पेंडिंग पावर कैन ए गाय कैन ए पर्सन वो सिटिंग इन विलेज कैन स्पेंड टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी बक्स और फाइव हंड्रेड बक्स और सेवन फिफ्टी बक्स और डॉक्टर कंसल्टेशन और नॉट इट इज मोर इट इज मोर ऑफ एजुकेशन इज अक्रॉस बट डिपेंड्स अपॉन स्पेंडिंग पावर दैट कैन बी फ्रॉम दिवन मेट्रो स्कूल ए विलेज लॉस इट डजेंट मैटर दिज ऑल आर बिकम यू नो एज एज ए मीडिया वी ऑल नीड टू किल दिज वर्ड्स इवेंचुअल हमने ये पैदा किया जब 1980 से पहले टीयर वन टीयर टू है नहीं है पता नहीं मिले तो बोलता है सो so देन वो बीच में अपना रिक्वायरमेंट का जरूरत हमने कैटेगराइज किया अभी ये टाइम आ गया हमको दिस थिंग्स वी नीड टू स्टार्ट फिलिंग विथ He rightly pointed it out. Uh, Shikant, I would also like to know what should digital agencies do to keep pace with, with the you know evolving industry. First thing, the digital there are like there are many many companies who are not understood digital very well. In fact, I tried my best to educate the CEOs and founders. Try to create a committee. and go and educate them how digital can help uh your products to reach to the maximum people so i find whoever is part of the digital space just don't cater only to your customers also educate the possibilities what digital can do today i'll tell you more than facebook or instagram or these uh, social channels upi payment gateways pay many people learn digital from these segments rather than from the social media so it's okay you may learn, you may not learn directly you may learn from multiple other use cases but if you can adapt the whole thing into your life i think which is happening today so there are so many brands if you look at now digital marketing spend in india is not very high if i talk directly so that's why now but it is growing it is it is growing people are accepting it but if that if that can speed up it will be great it's not only now comes the last now Sorry? comes the last question Now comes the last question. Can you please share your expansion plans, and do you have any plans to, you know, launch any specific edtech, martech, or fintech products in the near future? सब पूरा लोग सब लोग बोलते हैं मार्केट में हर साल में तो हर डेढ़ साल में कुछ ना कुछ प्रोडक्ट लॉन्च करते हैं आप. So how to cater and how to uh, build a bridge between the consumer and the advertisers? This is our constant work, and. Uh, in, i will once maybe in the future we will sit down and i will show you what all products we do so we have adtech which is a purely service based we have martech which is purely product led like app mera it's called whistle and adtech it's called valueleaf 
and there is a fintech which is called Buddy Loop. A three segments which we are trying to build a finest gap, finest bridge between the consumer and the uh, advertiser or the service providers. This is what we keep doing, and this is a constant work. And with that's how we are doing. And we add a lot of value in all these three across the industry levels. We try to educate the ecosystem. That's what we concentrate on. Thank you very much for taking time out and speaking with you for that. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.